Welcome to Blender 3.0 Vintage Car Creation. I'm Darren Lyle, and in this course, we will be creating this sweet little car, a 1952 Nash Healey Roadster. Now, even though we will be ending up with a fairly complex model at the end of the project, this really is an introductory course. We'll be moving at a steady pace throughout the beginning of the course, and as we go on, we'll begin to pick up the speed a bit. I do assume a little bit of experience with Blender just being able to navigate in the 3D view, move, rotate objects, things like that. But I will always show everything I'm doing, and I'll also try and explain why I'm doing what we're doing. And the project files for the course are available. You have access to all of the Blender scene files, the reference images, etc. So if you ever have a problem, you can always just open up the same Blender file I'm using to get a better sense of what we're doing. We'll begin the project by bringing in some reference images here. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you my process for cutting up these images and bringing them into Blender. Now, I happen to use Adobe Photoshop, but this can be done with any paint or photo editing program. Once we bring in the reference images, we then begin the modeling of the car, and for the vast majority of this project, we will be using Blender's subdivision surface modifier. And throughout, I'll be talking about my thought processes and strategies for creating each of the objects here. Now, once we're done with the modeling, we'll move on to the materials. We'll use Blender's node editor to set up materials and textures for the car and to get it ready for rendering. We'll go over how to set up lights, use an HDR image, and render the scene using the Cycles Render Engine. We'll talk about how to animate the camera and how to bring those animations into Blender's video sequence editor so that we can output a video of our work. And for it all, you will only need Blender. From the first polygon to the final exported video, we will only use Blender for the entire project. So I'm looking forward to getting started. I hope you are too. In the next couple of videos, let's take a look at how we can prepare and bring our reference images here into Blender and set them up to begin the modeling process.